I grew up here, where, where I'm sitting right now is my grandparents' home. I sat in this swing when I was about five years old, I guess. But I grew up on Jefferson Street. Uh, and this community was a, a very diverse community. It was kind of like a community within a community, sure. uh, a little town within a town. And it evolved, it wasn't a planned community. It actually evolved out of necessity. We had, we had Jim Crow laws. So it was, it was a very rich community, uh, rich in, in diversity. And I don't mean racial diversity, but in socioeconomic diversity. Of course, we lost a lot of that when the interstate came through and it destroyed many of the homes. And of course, it cut off a lot of access also to the businesses that existed on Jefferson Street. So, and, and I'm happy to see that we are getting some attention now, especially from groups like yourself. Talk a little bit about uh, the community, what it means to you, your role in the community, your work in the community. As a council member, uh, I'm working with community members, community organizations, churches, etc., uh, to make sure that their voice is heard uh, for their Nashville. Nashville is ever-changing every day. Um, Nashville has a very unique soul. Um, we're known as Music City. Probably about 70% of the music that you hear on the radio uh, is recorded right here in Nashville. And so when we think about the history and the soul of, of Music City, um, that soul plays a big role here in North Nashville. The things that we can do is drive economic development for the people that are here, increase the education opportunities, and increase the job opportunities. Those are the things that I fight for every day as a council member, and those are things that I'm asking everyone to help us with. So if we can have better education for our kids and our youth, we can have more job opportunities for people that necessarily can't go far away to get to work with the transportation needs, mm -hmm. that can come to work right in the community that they live in, will help us increase uh, the accessibility to so much more for the families here. The more I try to connect this back to Juneteenth and the way North Nashville looks now, I think about how my ancestors like dreamt of freedom and they right. dreamt of freedom for, you know, for, for generations to come and we're not really benefiting from that dream. We're not living up to it. I have to think about my grandfather who grew up in this neighborhood also. I have to think about my great-grandfather who was a sharecropper. I have to think about my great-great-great-great-grandfather who was still a slave, who was waiting to be emancipated. I would like to not speak for my entire community. Correct. I would like to have true conversations. I want um, elected officials, uh, new corporations, new organizations to just come and speak to neighbors, understand what it is that we feel like we've been missing. And then of course, investment is always helpful investment of time, resources, or talent. So is it that the National Soccer Club can come and support our, our babies by engaging with them by, as mentors or coaching them, or just working with them, being around them? It could be a little bit of anything, but I think time, talent, and treasure and conversations will go a long way for us. What do you um, look forward to um, in terms of, um, you know, the national community in terms of celebrating Juneteenth? What do you look to see? So Juneteenth is Freedom Day. Just celebrating the freedom of African Americans and the history and the role that they've played in ensuring the growth and sustainability of the city of Nashville. Right. It, it, it's important that, that you become a part of this community and let the people in this community know that you care. Uh, our young people need to see uh, people like yourself mm -hmm. uh, who are engaged in the community, who care about the community. About the community. I think that's the most significant thing. Yeah. I, this is one of those days that I really do wait the entire year for. I'm, I'm excited to be motivated again because this is a celebration. This is a time for remembrance, but it's also certainly a time to, to re-engage with our community and figure out how you can make everyone better. Let's get to work then. How's everybody doing today? So the mixtape came together because me and uh, Brandon, Councilman Brandon Taylor uh, really talked about this and we said, hey man, we want to make sure that we have a support group that looks like me, where I feel like I have my identity in it. Mixtape is just really a compilation of a lot of different songs from a lot of different artists that come together to create this soundtrack. And all we're saying, which is our motto, which is my verse, our song, Nashville soundtrack. And that's how you get the mixtape. Today, the Backline Supporters Collective is honored and privileged 
to bring in the mixtape as our brand new officially recognized supporters group to Nashville Soccer Club. Glad to have you guys.